What is up and what is going on? Officer Natty here with episode two of reviewing, harder than the last time, Greg Doucette's Turk Builder. Now, just wanna jump right into the controversy and rumors that are going on. If you don't know, uh, somebody posted on Reddit and even Greg responded with a YouTube video that uh, they had their Turk Builder lab tested. Instead of having the 500 milligrams per serving that it claims, that it really only has 0.78, which is mind boggling considering the prices that you have to pay for this as we've gone over in the last video. But Greg's apology doesn't even address like, hey, no, I know for sure what's in my product. It, he basically says, yeah, that this could be true. I don't know. I'm gonna have to look into it. But not even really that he's gonna look into it, just that it still works for him. So that came out a day after I started taking this product, so it had me thinking, do people even want me to keep uh, doing this? Or is this even gonna be something that people continue to buy? Uh, what am I actually putting in my body, considering the guy who sells it doesn't know? But nah, once we go in, we're not coming out, so I guess we're gonna bump up the dosage uh, to six capsules, since apparently there's not really as much as what I need in here. So, I guess I could take all I can get. We're gonna take six capsules a day going forward, and we're just gonna talk about as if these rumors, I guess, are just rumors, um, that the lab results are fabricated, it's a competitor or whatever. We're still gonna go through everything that I've been experiencing on it and uh, see what I think, regardless of having that information in my head. If anything, now this might put a bias in my head that it doesn't work, and it'll be interesting to see if my results start to go down from this point forward. But, let's go off of what we have so far. So I wanna go over three things. If I'm feeling any actual mental effects from taking the supplement, and then am I seeing any results in the mirror, and then am I seeing any results in the weight room? Uh, for the first one, mentally, I would say there's no extra pump, there's no, my my fatigue hasn't improved, nothing like that has, nothing when I take it do I take it and be like, yes, I'm going to be able to go harder because I'm taking this today. Um, nothing like that. The only real thing I could say that I've noticed from taking it, which could be TMI, is that it makes, just on the three capsules again that I started for the first two weeks, is it makes your urine smell some type of way. It's very pungent, or at least for me. Like, eating all the asparagus you could find in the supermarket, it's that pungent. But, uh, so that's the only like, actual side effect that I've noticed uh, mentally or in like a, a physical way. Now, in the gym, if we look at my, or in the mirror, if we look at my metrics, um, and I'll let you be the judge as well, so uh, I'm only going to post what I look like currently now in this video, you can go back to see what I looked like two weeks from now in the other video, because I think it'll be better just to put them side by side once I get to the end of this, which should only be a couple weeks from now, now that we're bumping up to six capsules, but that way, more time has gone by and there's a bigger difference or no difference and instead of saying, oh, this is only a week, it's silly to put it side by side. So I'm gonna stretch them out but still show you what I'm currently out in each video. So uh, my actual metrics though. So my average weight this week has been around 183.6 whereas two weeks ago it was 186.4. So almost a three pound difference. Is that the Turk? I don't think so. Could it be? Again, we're never gonna know from this test. But, so, what's crazy though is, or not crazy, but what is fascinating is uh, my lifts are still going up. Now are they going up more? Because I was going up before I started this, and at the end of this journey I'll have all of my lifts tracked in Excel spreadsheet and graph to show you the difference of when I was off Turk, on Turk, and after. But since I've been taking it, my lifts have been going up, and the one thing I could say is before I said I didn't feel 
any difference in my fatigue, but when I did move the weight up on my 5x5 for deadlifts yesterday, uh, I added five more pounds than I'd done the previous time, but it felt like I could do more. It felt, it felt light. But again, that was off of a rest day, whereas last time I lifted it, it, I didn't have a rest day before. So we could argue that's simply just the rest day. Um, there's nothing so far that's led me to believe that it is the Turk builder. So, in conclusion, yes, I can say that I am a little leaner after these two weeks, and I haven't lost any strength. I've actually gained strength. But does that mean anything? In my opinion, no, it doesn't. All these effects could be is the fact that now I'm filming myself. I know I'm going to be showing this to people and it's making me train harder. It could be that I took it and subconsciously think that it's going to do something. These could all be placebo effects. So we're not going to know. What will be interesting and can give us an idea is once I run out and I continue to track my progress in the gym on this channel and change some things up and just continue to work every day at it if I see a decline as soon as I stop taking it. That'll be really interesting to see. If, you, if I see something like that, it could sway me to believe that there's at least something that this little bottle does. Now again, as I've talked about before, clearly my results are not dramatic enough to justify what this costs. There's no way, especially if I'm bumping up to six which would only last you a month on three bottles at $117. It just isn't worth it. You, you might as well go on a cycle at that point. So it's gonna be fun to see how much more I continue to or not improve over the next couple weeks as I up the dosage. And it'll be fun to see the after.